The Miami Dolphins team identity is rooted on the defensive side of the football. With a head coach boasting a defensive background and the team's aggressiveness to continue their investments on that side of the football once again in 2021, it is clear that Miami hopes to be defined by their defensive prowess and trust that crunch time will allow them to get off the field in critical spots and help win tight ball games. But with so much youth on the roster, Miami is going to need to hope for a repeat performance from last year's defensive effort if they're going to log 10 plus wins once again in 2021. The good news? Miami's all around effort in coverage last season ranked near the tops in the league, regardless of what the call was. Seth Walder of ESPN shared a pair of graphics that illustrate just how successful the Dolphins were as a defensive team defending the pass last season, highlighted by this look at how well each of the NFL's 32 franchises performed according to EPA, play, expected points added per play, in both man and zone. There were only three NFL franchises to log negative EPA, play, which is good, in both man and zone looks. The Pittsburgh Steelers the Washington football team, the Los Angeles Rams, Pittsburgh finished third with 19.5 points per game. The Washington football team finished fourth with 20.6 points per game. The Los Angeles Rams were number one at 18.5 points per game. Rounding out the top six, it shouldn't be hard to fill in the blanks by seeing the correlation with the previously mentioned teams. 1. Los Angeles Rams, 18.5 ppg. 2. Baltimore Ravens, 18.9 ppg. 3. Pittsburgh Steelers, 19.5 ppg. 4. Washington Football Team, 20.6 ppg. 5. New Orleans Saints, 21.1 ppg. 6. Miami Dolphins, 21.1 ppg. And when you add all this to the dynamics of how often the Dolphins played man versus zone, you get a pretty clear picture for Miami that there's plenty of balance in this secondary and, with the changes to the roster in 2021, there's even more room to grow. Walder provided a breakdown of man versus zone frequency in which each team was better in. Miami was in the top 10 in the NFL last year in frequency of man coverage, coming in at over 55% according to the graph, which Walder cites to ESPN and Next Gen Stats. All of this adds up to Miami playing nearly a 55%, 45% coverage split in favor of man coverage until ended up as one of the NFL's top coverage units in both concepts this past season, trailing Pittsburgh, Washington, Los Angeles and perhaps New Orleans, who was better in zone EPA, play but less effective in man coverage. So if you're looking for some inspiration as to why the Dolphins will be back in the hunt again this season, this is a great place to start. Miami is poised to run it back with their defensive staff, they've improved several positions on the defensive side of the ball and look to have more balance in the defensive front to stop the run, too.